Well, because of this beautiful weather outside and uh, full sunshine, my panels up on the roof 150 watts gives me like 6.5 amps. So I think it's a good time for uh, for test another PMW PWM uh, solar charge controller. So this one it's uh, CM3024Z. It's a pretty generic PWM. Have a really nice aluminium uh, heat sink behind and uh, it's supposed to deliver I think 20 amps oh yeah here we go 30 amps sorry 30 amps it also have um, a heat or temperature a temperature sensor that's for compensating the um, the charging voltage and currents in a low temperature or high temperature anyway so this is the machine here it comes in this uh, box now it's time to hook it up I have my battery there it's just an experimenting battery I'm trying to get some uh, some power off the battery. In the meantime, I hook the things to to the charger. The connection to the battery is hooked, so it's time to make the contact. Okay, here we go. This one two minus oh yes and we have we have eleven point nine oh let me turn this off okay Never ending story. Yes, so the battery it's on. The LCD it's on as you may see it shows me twelve point one but this one shows me twelve point four. So I think it's a little bit out because the voltage is 12.4 this one works very well and uh, it's time to hook up the panel here we go so we got a plus here and we got a minus here yes I have to do a proper installation here. Okay, the panel it's on. As you may see on the LCD, it shows that the current floats from the panel to the battery. We have 4.6 amps going to the battery, and the battery went to 13 volts. This is the battery here and this is the solar panel. It gives a, a really nice 73, 74 watts, 5.6 amps. The machine is working. And now let's pass a little bit uh, the menus. So we have the voltage here. The voltage is under the real one with 0. 
six volts, maybe more, of point four. It's not so accurate like I suppose to be, but it's okay as long as it's charging properly. It's okay. Okay, so now we have the temperature inside here. It's fourteen degrees. That's uh, that's right, fourteen degrees Celsius. Now we have a couple of settings. The load it's reconnected when the battery reached 12.6 volts. It's getting disconnected when the battery went down to 11.2. All these things can be. Uh, all these things can be fixed later. But there are no amps. There are no amps on the LCD. There are no current shows for in and out. So it's a very simple. Um, it's a very simple menu. I find out that this can be changed if you push longer the button as you may see we can go up and down this is the float voltage of the battery okay so then you press again the menu button on, um, it's changing the value go okay here we go. Yes. Also, the point when the load it's getting reconnected again, it can be altered. Oh yeah, so there, there there are a couple of settings on the menu. It can be changed, and uh, what's nice about this is that um, it can be used to charge lithium batteries because the um, the voltage for float. It can be changed to 12.7, I think. So this is nice. Okay, long press. Come on. Okay, let's go back to see about that. Load off. We have a. Uh, some time for how long the loads should be on a timer temperature again okay so let me see if, if we can change panel voltage off so like I said if we can alter this, then we can uh, we can charge lithium batteries. Oh, come on! It have to be a really long press to do that. Okay, minus go. Uh, go 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 go. Three point seven, three point six. Okay, so we can go down to 12.7 volts. That's pretty okay for charging uh, a 3S lithium batteries. But for now, I have to go back to to 13.6 for normal acid battery.
long press to memory and yes here we go 75 76 watts 5.6 amps so the charger is working uh, doesn't show the current in or out so some of the menu are missing but for uh, for the price I think it's a really nice uh, PWM solar charger thanks for now